All right, let's go ahead and solve this differential equation. But let me tell you guys that this is not exact. And also let me tell you guys that we do have an integrating factor, but this time the integrating factor is so special. However, the question is nice enough to us. It tells us that this is the form of the special, special integrating factor. It's x to some power times y to some power. Our goal is to figure out what are these powers supposed to be. Well, suppose we know this is how the integrating factor will look like. I just have to take this and multiply everything by that. And then at the end, we do the exactness check, right? And hopefully, we'll be able to figure out the n and the m. Now, let's go ahead and do the work. Right here, let's multiply x to the n, y to the m. And let's also multiply this by x to the n, y to the m. Of course, we also do it right here just for fun for this part, right? Because you know nothing will happen anyways. But anyways, right here, focus. This times that. We have 2 is just the 2. x to the n's power is just x to the n's power. But this times that, we will have m to the second power for the y, isn't it? OK. And we will take this times that, so we have minus 6. x times that is x to the n plus 1 power. And y to the m times y to the first. We just have y to the m plus 1. All this is with dx. And next, we do this times that. So we add it with 3 is just 3. And then x to the first times x to the n. So it's x to the n plus 1. And then this times that, we have y to the m plus 1. And we have to do this times that, which is minus 4. Um, this is x squared. We multiply with x to the n power. So we have x to the n plus 2. And then we will have y to the m. And this is with dy. And don't you guys just love 0 so much because 0 times anything just 0. This is equal to 0. OK, so this is what we have. And this is supposed to be exact, right? So now, let me label the whole thing right here to be m, capital M, right? The function m. And right here, I'll label this as n. So we have to now do the uh, partial derivatives. We take this and do the partial with respect to y. So let me put down m sub y. And that's just, you know, you know, put down the partial derivative right here already. So this term. We know 2x to the nth power is the constant, so let's write that down, 2x to the nth power. And for the partial derivative with respect to y, we take the power to the front, right? We just take the power to the front. I'll show you guys work right here at this one time. So we will have the little m plus 2, like this. And we minus 1 for the power, so we will have y to the m plus 1 power. That's for the first term. And we do the same thing right here, minus 6. And we have x to the m plus 1 power. And we also take this to the front and the minus 1. So uh, let me just write it down like this. This in the front, so we should have ready as m plus 1 first. And the 6 is right here. And then we will have the x to the m plus 1. And then we will have y to the m. OK? So this is uh, the partial of m as a function of m with respect to y. Well, this right here, we will have to take the partial of that with respect to x. Let's see what will happen. So we keep this 2, right? Let me just put this down right now. So I put down the 3 here. I will put down uh, this right here at the end, y to the m plus 1. But I will have to take this, bring it to the front, minus 1. So we will have m plus 1. And minus 1, so we have x to the n, like this. I guess I'm showing you guys all the work right here, but it's OK, right? Anyways, uh, for this one, we will have the minus. And let me put a 4 right here. And we have to take the you know, derivative right here. So bring this to the front, minus 1. So we will have x to the n plus 1. And this right here should be in the front, n plus 2, like this. At the end, the y to the n's power just chilling back. So this is what we have. So I guess it's not so bad because you can see that this and that match. This and that match. So what we have to do is we have to pair things up nicely. We have to make sure this at the end match. Likewise, this and that match. 
this and that, right, the x to the n plus 1 match with this. Well, we have to make sure that this right here matches as well, right? So let's see what we have. If you put 2 and then you distribute that, you will get 2m plus 4. And then if you distribute this, you get 3n plus 3. So that's the first equation that you should have, right? Because the coefficient right here, they should match. So the first thing that we need to have is 2m plus 4. It has to be equal to 3m plus 3. OK, for this, you can ignore the negative sign because they both have the negative sign, right? So I should have just circled this right here for you guys. So we can just focus on the positive. Okay, so 6 times m is 6m and m plus 6. And this right here will be 4n plus 8. So let me put this right here. We will have 6m plus 6, and that will be equal to 4n plus 8. Okay, so this right here is a system equation that we have to solve, and let's go ahead and solve it. Right here, let me just bring the 3 to the left-hand side and then bring the 4 to the right-hand side, right? So we will have 2m minus 3n, and then bring this to the other side. You subtract 4 on both sides, so we have minus 1. And for this part, I will just bring the 4n to the other side, so we have 6m, and then minus 4n, and this is equal to subtract 6 on both sides, and you have positive 2. Right, do whatever you want to do right here, right? Um, let me just show you guys just for fun. Uh, I will multiply the top equation by negative 3. So I will just put the result on top for you guys. So this right here is going to be negative 6m, and then this times that is positive 9n. This times that is equal to positive 3. So when you combine this red equation with this equation, this and that will cancel, this and that will be 5n, and this and that will be 5. And you do all the work, you find out n is equal to 1. And when you plug in 1 into here, that's just use this one. Right? If you want to use one, it's fine, but just use this one. We have 6m minus 4 times the 1 that you found. And then ma that's equal to 2. And this is 6m. This is minus 4. You add a 4 on both sides, so you have equal to 6. And you also find out m is equal to 1. Yeah, I don't know who created this question. At the end, you have n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 1. So exciting, huh? But this is just how it is. So... <laughs> Um, the special integrating factor in this case, it will be, we are going to use um, x to the first power, y to the first power. This is what we have to multiply. Let me just circle this for the answer. Okay? And the idea now is you take this, multiply throughout the rest of the, throughout the original equation, and that, okay, the resulting equation will be exact, and you should know how to solve it, and I'll leave that to you guys. This is how you get the m value and n value, and that's it.